Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'll say this, uh, Americans out there, folks who are watching, who are not normally in the day-to-day -day of what's happening in this world, there is a comprehensive uh, medical, full comprehensive medical report uh, on the website, whitehouse.gov. I would encourage them to take a look, to take a look, read, read that report, uh, and they can also read for themselves uh, what his, his uh, you know, specialist, a group of specialists, uh, the, of uh, coming out of the medical unit decided on what they examined, what they saw, what they reported on. I think that matters as well. Uh, it is a group of them that come together when it comes to doing their physical. It is extensive physical. And so there is something there for them. It's transparent. It's out there. It's for them to read. It's for the American, not just for you, for the American people to take a look. Does President Biden commit to serving a full second term if reelected? Yes. Thank you. Uh, we know the president says that his health is fine, but it's just his brain, and that he's sharpest before. He eight. was joking, by the way. I just want to make sure that that's out there. And people, the people, pe he was making a light-hearted joke as he was that speaking he off. He was spe he's speaking off the cuff and he was making a joke. You know the president; he likes to joke a lot. Okay. He's the same guy who says, "I know I look forty, right?" So he likes I to make know. jokes. It is a joke. He, okay. I think people laugh when he says it. Um, have the last 12 days made you reconsider any specific statements that you might have made in recent months on, on that issue? I, look, I appreciate the question. I really do in the opportunity. I think there has been moments here when I have said, and I, especially in the gaggle, I think, uh, and, and actually yesterday, uh, if, I, if I have, uh, you know, uh, uh, said, misled in something that I've said or haven't had the full information, I actually own up to that. And I actually say, I will do my best to get you the information. Hence the letter. Hence the letter for Dr. O'Connor, right? And so um, uh, I will, you know, I've always said, I've always been committed to doing the best I can to give you the information that we have. That is a commitment from the team. It has been an unprecedented time. I think you guys could admit that, right? It is an unprecedented time. And so we are meeting the moment, a new moment that has never really existed before. And so we want to make sure that we get you all the information that we have. He had a bad night. We've talked about it. Uh, he understands people's concerns. We have been out there, as we have been in previous months, but out there obviously in the past 10 days, more than 10 days now uh, since, uh, since the debate. And you see from his engagement with everyday people on the ground, uh, you see him with congressional members uh, having, who are showing their support, speaking on behalf of this president while we're on the ground uh, in, in, uh, in that respective state or commonwealth being where we were in Pennsylvania on Sunday. And so we're just going to continue that. But look, what we can say, what I can say is, look, we respect, we respect people's opinion. All right, thanks, everybody. This nation, that means keeping our eyes on the North Star. The very idea of America, that we're all created equal in the image of God and deserve to be treated with dignity and respect our entire lives. We've never fully lived up to that, but we've never fully walked away from it either. And that's because of you and generations before you who led the church from slavery to freedom, always praying always believing that joy cometh in the morning. You've never given up. To give hate no safe harbor, while there are those who want to erase history, Kamala and I want to make it. Because black history is American history. <laughs> Folks, I know with every fiber of my being, I know I won't look like I'm 40 years old, but I've been around a little bit. <laughs> well, all kidding aside, you know, I've been doing this a long time. 
And I honest to God have never been more optimistic about America's future if we stick together. Yeah. I really mean it. We're all imperfect beings. We don't know where or what fate will deliver us to or when. What we do know is that we can seek a life of light, hope, love, and truth, no matter what. We can seek that life. Take all of our experiences and give everything we have to work together, because when we do, you can't stop us. I, really, I mean this sincerely. I'm about to host the NATO nations in Washington. We put them together. We've done The world's looking to us. Not a joke. The world is looking to America. Not to carry their burden, but to lead their hopes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, not, I'm going to be inclined to go on longer than I should here, so I'm not going to. We must unite America again. That's my goal. That's what we're going to do. God bless you all, and may God direct our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.